Worldwide, Sully here, checking in from the once independent Lone Star State. So I got a little story to share with you. Um, I grew up on a Texas ranch. And my dad was a farmer. He did a lot of, uh, I guess you'd call it, uh, well, farming. He planted stuff, dug stuff up, harvested it. When I was about probably 15 years old, my dad um, had to uh, run up to Kansas. He had just finished harvest. He had to go up to Kansas to basically sell all of our crops. We couldn't get them sold in Texas for some reason. I'm not really sure why. And so he had to go to Kansas to sell our crops. Well, it was going to take him a while. So, you know, he sat me down. He's like, son, you're going to be in charge. I'm like, okay, no problem. I can handle that. And needless to say, day after he left, this dog shows up. It was a pretty good sized dog. It was, a, I think, a lab or a retriever or something like that. I can't remember. And uh, my, my little brother just fell in love with this dog. I hated it because you could tell that it wasn't a very good dog. You could tell he got into all kinds of, well, mischief. And I decided that I didn't like the dog, but my brother did. So my mom used to kind of get upset at me. I'd try to throw rocks at it when it did stupid stuff. Well, it turns out the dog wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I went hunting, took my brother hunting with me one time, and we were out in the wilderness, um, forest, woods, whatever you want to call it. We were hunting, and my brother came across this little bear cub, and he started playing with it. It screamed. I, I don't know if a bear cub can scream, but it did. And its mom came running. Like, you don't want a mama bear running at you. And it was going straight towards my brother. And I was pretty sure that my brother was going to die. And I'm like, you know, he's only seven. Um, how attached can I be? But apparently I was pretty attached, so I wanted to save him. So I tried, and I realized there was no way I was going to get there fast enough. But that dog, that dog swooped in and just ripped that bear a new one. I mean, he really fought hard, which gave me just enough time to pull my little brother out uh, from the clinches of that bear's teeth. And he survived. As did the dog. The dog survived too, but we found out later that the dog was getting into all kinds of uh, continued mischief. And he apparently was eating the neighbor's food, um, and he was doing a little extracurricular activity, if you know what I mean. Um, we found this out because uh, one of the neighbor girls came over, she was kind of our age, and she was like, hey, by the way, um, I've seen your dog kind of doing these things. And, you know, that, there was a lot of scuttlebutt in the neighborhood about whose dog it was or and we were pretty sure that if if the dog were seen doing any of these things he'd be shot well she was letting us know she had seen it she didn't have a gun thankfully she didn't shoot it um but she had seen our dog doing some of these things in fact she saw our dog and her dog doing the nasty right and now she figured out that uh well her dog was hmm, prego so we knew we had to do something. We locked him up in the uh, the bedroom, but it was too late. Uh, that dog had already gotten rabies. And um, long story short, my dad got home, shot it, and killed it. Story's over. Pretty, pretty sure. Pretty sure that story happened. That story definitely happened. I know that story. Was that? My childhood, or... Wait a minute. That might have been Old Yeller. Well, that's okay. I had another uh, dog that I, I loved. I, I actually I had two. I saved up my money for a long, long time. And I ended up uh, buying these, these two dogs. And they were puppies. And I raised them. I raised them, to, uh, and I taught them how to coon hunt. Um, when, when you live out in the boondocks, you coon hunt. Um, 
and these dogs are great. These guys, these, I mean, I, I love these dogs. I went overnight all the time and these dogs would tree coons left and right. And, uh, it, they were just great. I mean, you could not have two better dogs than this and uh, mountain lion killed one. And then the other one got depressed and died. And, uh, a red fern or something like that grew up out of where the one was buried. Wait a minute. I think, I think that might've been a book too. Um, okay. Well, anyway, I had another dog and, um, I found out that it was like a superhero. Um, it had a cape, um, it wasn't, I mean, most people didn't think it was going to be that good. So he was, he was a little bit of an under, I mean, that was a cartoon. Well, I, I know I've had dogs and they're kind of cool. I mean, what more do you want? Like an actual story? So I do actually have a dog. This is Marley. Today is Marley's birthday. She's a little unsure about being three years old, but she is my best friend. And this is Sadie. This dog was born on my birthday in Kansas, where I was born. We got a lot in common. She's a good one too. Anyway, Doc Bravo, my bearded brother. Congrats on 400 and some subscribers. I actually looked up a few moments ago, you're about 450. So uh, you're cruising, man. Like, what's the magic sauce? Wait a minute, don't answer that question. I don't want to know what the magic sauce is. What's the recipe, though? I mean, 450 subscribers and just like, oh, I got to do a rap video? Yabo, make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. I'm out. Keep that rubber side down. Thank you.